Hello, this is Charting Man Dan of The Chart Guys, where we teach the little guy and girl how to utilize charts to manage their own trades and investments. What do I mean by the little guy and girl? Well, we just had two directives signed halting the implementation of a rule that requires financial advisors to act in the best interest of their client. Let that sink in a little bit. The big wigs on Wall Street can play with your retirement and hard-earned money without your best interests at heart. We currently have hundreds of members taking charge of their financial future, and we would love for you to come check out a free week with no credit card required to see if our services would be beneficial on your path to financial independence as well. What we offer, we have a separate course of over five hours in length on when to enter and exit positions. And in terms of what we do daily, we have nightly videos, key levels updated each morning before the bell, two and a half hours of live daily web webcam coverage in the morning and in the afternoon, and over seven hours of educational videos. All of these links can be found in the description of this video. Come check us out. Thanks for watching. Let's get on to the technical analysis. Checking back in on natural gas. So the last time we checked in, we had our rejection and our lower high formed on the daily time frame. We had an uptrend support line to be watching. It held the first test and then was lost. And we had an all-out dump since the last time we checked in. So we had 306 support that broke and we had $3 support and there was a nice bottom fishing play and a bottom fishing play is when you make a bounce attempt off of a key support level and it always benefits the odds of the bounce being successful the more oversold that we are. So we were down in the RSI on the hourly in the upper teens and that gives us very good odds to bounce off that support level. So we bounced right off $3 psychological support. Not a huge bounce by any means. We bounced up to 3057, 36. And now that's that previous support acting as resistance. Let's put a line there as that's going to be a key resistance level going forward. Unable to get over that level on the bounce attempt. And it's pretty much we're either going to see a break of 306 and see this oversold bounce continue to play out on Sunday and Monday. Or we're going to head right down to $3. And if we break $3, we are looking on the daily time frame back down to 292 as the next level to be watching. So it's continuing the lower high, lower low pattern ever since we broke this higher low pattern of 3169, the bears have been in control. We've seen a little couple of short-term bounce attempts that have formed lower highs. So if we can't break the lower high pattern on the daily, the bears remain in full control. And here we are defending $3, a little double low of support. We'll put a support line there. Clear psychological level to be watching. We've got our downtrend resistance line still intact here on the daily. And it's pretty much up to the bulls early next week to try and defend this level and hold on or we see another leg to the downside ung gap down lower high not a lower low just yet 757 we did hit it by a penny 756 not very significant so the bulls are defending 756 and if we lose that level i'm looking at 754 and 744 as the next two levels on ung back test and a clear rejection from the 50 week moving average resistance it acted as support we lost it and now it's acting as resistance and you can see there's a gap here at 755, and that did fill this week with the low of this week filling the last gap on the UNG weekly time frame. But if we can't get over this 50-week moving average, the bears are going to remain in control. Also checking the weekly for natural gas, it was a big inverted hammer, which technically is a bullish reversal candlestick. I don't like these candlesticks as bullish reversal candlesticks because think about the psychology of what's going on. You see a bounce attempt and it gets absolutely crushed by the bears and we back down to where we started pretty much. Now, why it acts as a bullish reversal candlestick sometimes is because that's really the last push down by the bears before the bulls show up and overpower them. So that is a possibility. A solid green week next week would confirm this bullish reversal candlestick. But in my opinion, just watching the daily time frame, that's all I would be concerned with. If we can hold $3 and break 3189 the high of the last bounce attempt that we saw, then we start reversing that downtrend on the daily time frame, and then we can be looking for the weekly time frame to be showing strength as well. So it's worth noting that weekly candlestick, but again, gravestone dojis, inverted hammers, not my favorite bullish reversal candlesticks to be playing, but if we do see that occur here on the daily time frame, we would be looking for potential confirmation of that candlestick. All about $3 support heading into early next week. We'll check back in after hours on Monday. I'll see you then. Have a great weekend.